Boy. I remember that. Well, thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much. I'm saying, what do you You all are cute. People would I cute? I can't be cute. Like, girl, get over yourself. Oh, 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 not studying now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, this is all tater. Yeah, the I can't I can't say that. I remember the time I sang that song and you were like, Hi, baby. Now is not the time to sing that song. Like, <laughs> and now you think you can sing it. There's no way you can. Be, no way. No way you're singing that song. Like, I'm just pretending. Because I'm hoping. I remember, like, full blast here for Zambia and And I'm just like, who broke your heart? Like, Thank you, baby. I try. Have you seen my hair? Better than mine. Have you seen mine? Honestly, like if I visit up on live, I'm gonna take a band. So I'd rather not. Bye bye, baby. I love you. I love you too. Bye everyone. Bye guys. Nani. Love you guys. Um, okay, guys, I'm really leaving now. Um, I'm gonna go live again. I don't know when, but it was nice being live with you. Bye, guys. All of a sudden, walk just came up. He can stay. Hmm? He was very active when we were talking. And the moment I turned the tables to him, he disappeared. And guess what, guys? He just earned the block button from Sister Bonolo. I can't guess I've been telling you what I'm going to start to block people. What I'm doing today, guys, is something that I'm going to be doing for, for, for the coming few days. I'm going to be blocking people right before your eyes. I'm going to be saying goodbye to them. Because I keep telling you, God, my ministry is not for the weak. This ministry here, God did not establish it for people that just want to be here for here. Your time with Sister Bonolo, guys, has come to an end. Your time with Sister Bonolo, it has come to an end. And I, Sister Bonolo, I need to move to higher grounds. So I need to know who we are going with, who we are not going with. Because where we're going, we don't need baggage. Where we're going, we need people that truly want to serve God. Where we're going. We want people that are moving in their calling. Where we're going. That's where we're going. That has always been the mission of this ministry and it has always been so.
because we are not only going to be subjected to TikTok, guys. We know that our time in TikTok is about to end. We know that our time in TikTok is very short. We are not naive to that. Do we not? We know that our time on TikTok was very short. And it's still short. For, because where God has showed Sister Bonolo and every other person who God has showed what he showed me. We know where we are going. And we know what the mission is. The mission is to preach the gospel of God with no shame. That's the mission that God gave us. Is to spread the gospel of God with no shame. However form it comes. They kick us on social media, we move somewhere else. To the point that we will be on the streets preaching the gospel of God. So when you can't even deal with TikTok, people that you don't even see. then how are you going to spread the gospel of God when we are past TikTok? Because God is not only going to keep us on TikTok, guys, in case you will, you think, Hore, this is where we end. No, 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 no. And, and God is a part of, is a journey. And God is a body of Christ. It's not one person. It's a body. It's a team. Walking in Christ, guys, it's a team. Jesus Christ and Lord Father, take this opportunity, Lord Father, Jesus Christ and Lord Father, God, His Son, Lord, we would like to invite the Holy Spirit and Lord Father to be with us, cover us in this life to be with us, Lord Father, and we protect our mind, our soul, our spirit, Lord Father, under the blood of your only begotten Son, Lord Father, and Lord Father. That's where we're going. Thank you, Chris. That's where we're going. The mission of God, the mission of the kingdom, is a teamwork. It's not a one-man work. It's a teamwork. So if you think oh, the Holy Spirit brought you to my ministry, guys, I'm not the only minister on TikTok. There are so many of them. So many. And my channel is so small. It's impossible to get to my channel. It's so small. And what's part of it? I'm under shadow banning. The worst part of it. So again, I'm close to be found. I'm nowhere to be found. Like, it's only by the grace of God. New people find me. It's only by the grace of God, guys. I don't call host with people so that people can know me. No, 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 no. I don't do any any of these extra things. Because I'm not allowed to. The Holy Spirit said you will be the one who sent people here. I don't need to be doing co-host, doing all this crazy stuff. Which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Where did they go? All of a sudden, Mr. Main has to ex explain the prophecy of Ephesians. He disappeared. He disappeared. I invited him because I thought typing would be too much for him. If he was busy, he could have told me that, no, I can't join the live stream. I'll be on the comment section.
Where did he go? No way to be seen. He just disappeared. That's why, guys, I keep telling you, my ministry is here to prove to you that you don't love God. And you guys think I'm joking when I'm saying that. Because people who truly love God and surrender their life to God, any opportunity, actually, they are even looking for opportunities to represent God. I'm going to share something with you. I met Sister Onalena um, a lot of while back, just a few months back. At the best, I will say um, close to a year now. We are coming to a year together, me and her. 
I met her almost a year now. That's why I keep telling you she's she's my example that the Lord has awarded me. Thank God she's not here. I can speak freely. She's the example that God gave me when I started this ministry. Guys, I'm moving. I'm going inside the house because I want to take it. Oh, guys. I met Sister Unalena. Come on, come on, kittens. Go, go away, go away, guys. Go away. And the time when I met Sister Unalena, guys, it was the time when I was in this ministry. I was moving with very um, high. In my own opinion, if I can say that way, high, high men and women of God in the faith. If I can put it, when I mean high, I mean like they've been doing this for the longest, and um, they were assisting me, guys. I mean, I mean high people of faith that have channels over thousands and thousands of people. They took their time out of their 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 profiles. Oh yes, guys. To come assist Sister Bonolo on her ministry. Yes. Well known people. Some of you you know them. And some of those high people that have high extent they are famous guys on TikTok. Especially in this ministry or in this um, TikTok of, of Christ, the ministry of God. They are famous. They are known. They came as Sister Bonolo. When Sister Bonolo had no idea who they were, all I saw is that. These are very nice people. They don't even know me. They don't know nothing about me. God just gave me this ministry. God told me to come here. Here I am. I'm stuttering. I don't know how to read the Bible. I don't know Bible verses like I still don't do today. Uh, I don't know how to code. I don't know. I don't know any story of anybody in the Bible. But here are these people. Hours after hours are spending on my ministry, me stuttering, not being clear, not being um, articulate, all those things, but they were here. Why? Because when I accepted my calling, guys, I told God that, Father, place everybody who, who I need in this journey around me. And we are going to make sure that I succeed. I didn't know nothing, guys. I'm sharing this story with you to share with you is that you can't get ready for the calling of God. Nope. No, you can't. You can't be ready. You can't say, now I'm ready. No, 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 no. That will never happen. Uh -huh. As you see, people have been in faith for 100 years, but they still don't know how to pray, how to read the Bible, how to do nothing. They still don't receive any revelation from God. Nothing. But they've been in faith forever. 
So when you come to Christ, guys, you will never be ready. So don't think, oh, Sister Bonol is being harsh with you. Sister Bonol is not being patient with you. Sister Bonol has been doing this for a while. How can she expect us to be at the level that she is? How can she expect us to have this boldness? All this crazy stuff that you may be saying, guys. Which some of you are very bold to DM me, which is good. I love bold people. Oh, I love them. Because at least at the end of the day, they get clarity. I was none of those things, guys. You can ask them. You can ask them. I was a nervous rag. I didn't know how to preach. I didn't know how it flows. I didn't know that you're supposed to reference. You can't just come with one scripture. I didn't know those things. You have to have references. I didn't know that. But going back to Sister Unalena. But do you know what I had, guys? I had determination. I had willingness. I had love for my father. That's what I... That's what gained me favor with these people. Guys, later on when I found out who these people were, I cried. For days I cried. Praising the father with my tears. Father, you truly listen to your children. Because, Father, I ask that, yes, I will do what you said I must do, Father. But will you please surround me with people that will make this journey easy? And you did that. And it only took me two months stuttering yeah on tiktok stuttering couldn't speak english well didn't know uh biblical terminologies didn't know nothing just a young girl who heard the calling of god and who obeyed that's all i was when i first came here so when you see me i'm challenging you guys i'm not expecting you to get the answer right that's what you don't understand family I don't expect you when I'm when when I'm challenging you like guys I'm challenging you. I'm not expecting you to get their answers right. No, am I not? I'm not expecting you to know the revelations that some of us may have regarding whatever topic we're having. I'm not expecting that from you. What I'm trying to show you and to show us who has been putting in the hard work is that and the worst part of it guys to show you us can care less about us you can care less about us but it is mainly to show you that you and you are playing when are you are busy playing shape is to show you how weak your faith is that's what i show that's all i'm trying to show you is to show you how weak you are and it's to show you how churchy you are and it's also to show you that you're not ready for the narrow path because the narrow path self die and it's also to show you that you are still in self you're still operating in self because guys to operate where we are operating we let ourselves die Family, I used to be on screen for four hours no break, no nothing guys I will even have to pee. But the way, because I was so new, I was everything. I had to hold it in to the point that my bladder had a problem. After that, I had to go get bladder massages, injections and everything. These are the things that you would never know unless I told you those things. Now, I can just leave you on screen and go wherever, do whatever, do quickly and then come back. And you guys will still be here. But then I couldn't. But that was the sacrifice I had to pay, my bladder. I look here today, my bladder is it's even healed. I even forgot. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. I even forgot about that. Because me, you know, I love liquids too much. Huh? And those teachers, guys, they were patient with me. They allowed me to finish a sentence. If they see I'm struggling too long, they will go, they will be gentle. They won't, they won't interfere with me. 
they would be on the comment section and say, can we take over for you there, Sister Bonolo, because you didn't clarify it correctly. So that I can assist you too. And I would say yes. Why? Because I needed all the help I could. If I could shut up the entire live stream, I would do that. But I couldn't because they have to allow me to speak. That is my platform. Yeah. Even if they spoke too much, sometimes they will have to apologize to think that they have taken over the, 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 the whole show. But for me, in my heart, I'll be glad that they did. But at the end of the day, they understood the journey more than I did. That no, we are just here to assist you. We can't take over your show. Stutter if you have to stutter. Make no sense if you have uh, if you have to make no sense. But this is your ministry, it's not ours. That's what Sister Borolo had to go through. So I'm not expecting you to be perfect. I'm not expecting you nothing. I'm expecting to see your willingness. That's all I'm doing, guys. Every time I'm asking you, I'm grilling you, I'm doing everything. I just want to, to show to you that you truly don't love God. No, you truly don't. Because people who love God, they don't care about their image. People who love God, they don't care whether they stutter or not. Why? Because they know that the Holy Spirit is the one that speaks through person. Guys, I keep telling you, I don't prepare my sermons. I rely 100% on the Holy Spirit to speak through me. I don't prepare my sermons. Yes, I might have an idea what am I going to talk about. But how am I going to deliver it? I will see when I get here. Sometimes I just get an unch in my spirit, in my soul, to start a live show. I would have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be doing the nails and I have a long, long, long line. Sometimes I have to cancel those people, give them a discount, because the Holy Spirit say, now, nah, let's go live. And I will have no idea. Or sometimes I will be exhausted. That's why sometimes you see me, I put a filter on. It's because I'm exhausted. But I came live. In my future. So I don't have excuse. But you guys have all the excuses in the world. You have all the excuses in the world. I was tired. I was working all day long. We are all working. You're not the first person to work. We all have jobs. But we make time to show how much we love God. We make time. I can't read the Bible all the time. I have to do what? We make time. We also make time. Even us, we don't have time. We make time. So guys, then Sister Onalina came in, I think about six months later, Sister Onalina came through to my ministry. And Sister Onalina was the worst. She used to irritate the hell out of me. The Jesus out of me, she used to irritate me. She knows. I'm not speaking because she's not here. I will, I will, I will repeat this. You know me, Mos. She knows. Ah, she knows. I've told her a long time ago. Do you know what her response was? Who can guess? What her response was. She didn't get in her feelings. Like most of you would. She didn't get in her feelings. Can you guess what her response was? Well guys. Her response is going to even show to you guys. How you don't have a zeal for God. You know what she said to me, guys? She was like, Sister Bonola, at that point, 
I wouldn't have cared whether I irritated you or not. Because I, Sister Ona, and that's what she told me. I prayed for God to send us a teacher. She didn't say send me. She said send us. A teacher who will truly teach the scriptures, who will truly set us right, who will truly fill this void that we feel like we are not getting wherever we are. That's what she said to me. She said, hence, when I first started coming to your ministry, I was so excited. I was all over the place. I, I was always, she was doing the most, guys. If she was not all over the place in my comment, she was requesting to come on the live stream. Guys, I mean the time when I still had those reputable people. She knew them. I didn't know them. She knew those people. But nah, I never knew them. She said, Sister Borolo, you have no idea. That days I cried. She Sister Borolo, I was crying every day. I was like, why? She's like, exactly how I prayed to God. That's how God answered me, through your ministry. That day when I met your ministry and I saw all those people at once being in your live show, I knew God has answered my prayer. He said, Sister Bonolo, you had no idea who those, she's the one who even told me those people who were, I didn't know, I just know they were people who helped me good with them. But she knew them. Because Anna, she has been in the faith for the longest. <laughs> She knew them. She says, Sister Bonolo, I came and I knew this is where God wants me to be. what she said to me. She's like, Sister Bonolo, when I got there, I saw my prayer. Every word that I prayed to God about unfold before my eyes. That's why I'm still here today. Because I know Horwena, I didn't come to your ministry because I just happened to stumble across you or somebody invited you to, to my ministry. No? She said, Sister Bonal, even before I joined your ministry, your live show, I was first listening to the people. I came to the, I went through the live stream list and I was listening to as people were speaking. I was like, no, man, I think I belong here. And the moment I entered the ministry, that's when everything started to make sense. Why? Because she prayed for this place. She prayed. She asked God. You guys didn't ask God. God happened to favor you and brought you here. Maybe some of you, you did. I don't know. Hmm? But then, what are you doing with this opportunity that God has given you? Because, uh, Sister Nalina, from day one, Sister Nalina knows what I'm talking about. Sister Ona Lena, from day one, she showed the full willingness of wanting to serve God. She didn't hide it. She didn't care whether she was in the presence of people that knew God. That knew. She did not care. She was letting us know that, hey, She was letting us know, everybody, that, hey, I might not know God. I may still be confused. I might still be not knowing everything. I might still be, but I'm here. But I'm here. Because not truly in my heart, I want to serve God. And I want God. She was never shy about it in the beginning. Yes, she might not have went the right way about it or whatever it is. At this point, it doesn't matter. What mattered is she, she was fully invested. Yes, she was fully invested. 
Yes, Sister Nalil. Sister Nalil knows exactly because Sister Nalil was with me from the beginning, guys. Sister Nalil is one of the people, those people, guys, I was talking about. That they came here, they have platforms out of platforms, but they still took their, their time to come assist me. What they could be in their platform of thousands and thousands of people that are waiting for them, but they took their time to be with me almost every single day. Sister Nalit is one of them. But this is not about them for now. It's about Sister Nalit here. I'm glad that she's not here. Gotta talk about her when she's not here. I hope she's not here or she's not here. Hey, Sister Nalit, you come far? Very, very far, guys. So I'm showing you guys that even though we can go about it so many wrong ways. My sister Nalidi says they, that sometimes we do things without asking God, okay? Sometimes I think we we, we we don't ask God or we jump ahead of God giving us a, 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 a go-ahead sign. It might be something that is going to be for you or some, but because of excitement and everything, you can't wait. We jump ahead of things and then, yeah, I start getting crazy. But that's what sister, from day one, guys, our sister Nalidi, she still has the same energy she had from day one today. One year later. Same energy she had. Same boldness. Same resilience. Same everything. Why? Because truly, truly deep down in her heart, she wants to serve God. Truly, truly, deep down in her heart, she is seeking God truly. But you guys, you have been with me for so, so, so long. So long. Uh, greetings, greetings. Uh, Madam B, I know that voice. Yes. I know yes. when it goes yes. about 90 decibels. Yes. <laughs> I know when your volume goes the above. I know that you, you are not alone. You are being led by the Holy Spirit. Yes. And, and and Nabonolo, when you, you first started following me on this platform, I always kept on saying, I'm not here for followers. I am because not here for gifts. I, know. I am not. It's because when Nabonolo Rinali a mandate, there, there is a book that we turn a page every day. And we have to, you, you know, we have to sign up. We, we, have, we have boxes to tick. We have to say, check. Check, check, check. And if the Lord, not if there's one thing, Bonolo, that no. that God has taught me about you. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, she, she likes to talk about people, guys. Today, I'm putting her on the spot. And she, and, and 